Hey guys, it's Mr. Witkowski. I'm one of the school counselors at Central Cabarrus High School. Um, I want to make a short video to talk about how to make your class requests for next year in PowerSchool. So <clears throat> once you've logged into PowerSchool, you will see uh, different um, navigation uh, buttons over here on the left hand side. Most of the time you're looking at grade history to see what your grades are, uh, maybe grades and attendance. And um, but what you will click on is this little icon down here, um, class registration, and it'll take you to this screen. Now this screen will open when registration opens <clears throat> and then it'll close once the counselors close registration. So it's important that you go in here and you make your class requests. Uh, so that they get forwarded over to your counselor. And that later you'll sit down with a counselor and you'll go over those and review them. So the first thing you'll see here is directions. You know, we put information in here, including graduation requirements, um, and then just some information about picking classes. Now, <clears throat> as you scroll down, you're going to see different uh, subjects. Uh, here you have English and math, and science, social studies, electives, and alternates. Now this last one on the bottom here, additional requests, I don't really know why this is here, so I'm trying to remove it because it really has nothing to do with anything, but um, this one you can actually ignore. So as you're picking classes, let's, let's go to the first one with the English. You'll click on this icon to the right hand side and you'll open and a dialog box will open and you'll see your English options, okay? So let's choose, let's say we're gonna do uh, English 3 next year. Now you'll notice that there's actually two pages of options. Notice that? So I'm gonna choose English 3, click OK, and now it's listed among my requests. I'm gonna do the same thing with math. And again, there's two screens. I'm going to choose uh, Math 2 Honors. Science. There's also two screens. I'm going to do Chemistry. Make sure you scroll down, click OK. Social Studies is going to look the same. And then Electives, you're going to notice there's a bunch of screens. Looks like there's 10 of them all together. And you can choose multiple classes in um, electives and alternates. Let's jump over to horticulture as well. OK, and then once you chose those, you just select OK. And if you needed to change them, you can go back and I'll show you a little trick. If you click on these arrows up here in the top left twice, there it shows you what your choices are. So let me let's say I change my mind. I don't want counseling mental health too. But now instead I want our beginner. Click OK and now our beginners there. OK, so this is an example and then alternates you're going to go in. Um, electives are your first choice. Non core classes. Alternates are backup electives, right? And they're not the same courses. They're different, so don't go in and choose the same courses again as your alternates. That's not good. And if you've been around, if you, you're a rising senior, a rising junior at Central, you know there's probably a good chance you're going to get your alternates. So go in and choose those carefully. And um, <clears throat> select everything you need to choose, double check it. And then finally on the bottom, now mine doesn't show this, um, but on the bottom of your screen as a student will be a submit button, OK? So go ahead and submit that. Now, as long as PowerSchool is open, you can go back in and change it. So you can go back into uh, class registration. You're going to see all your courses and <clears throat> you could make changes to those up to the point when we close it. Once we close it, that's it. And we'll print those and we'll use what you've selected uh, to meet with every student and review those courses and you can change courses at that time and ask questions. <clears throat> but this quick tutorial is just to show you like once you're in PowerSchool, where do you go? 
and then how do you make your selections and submit them to us as your counselor? So make sure uh, now that you know how to do that, make sure you do that in the timely manner um, so that uh, those courses get uh, put into PowerSchool for you for next year. Okay, thanks guys.